Hola, mi hermanos, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Channel 48. Hope you're doing fine on this uh, Monday morning. And it's still a holiday here in my uh, country, so it's a free day. I'm sitting here with a nice cup of coffee. I advise you to do the same because today I want to bring another phone to your attention. And where is it? I just had it with me. Hold on. Yes. So let me grab a nice piece of paper and let's give it a little bit of Paco Raban and let's polish it up because in the hot seat ladies and gentlemen the LG and the D82 I think it is Today is the 29th. Two days ago, Android 12 for the LG. The D, what is it? Uh, the D, I always forget. This is the LG G2 D802. All right? So this is the story. Um, a Lineage OS 19. And he called it. Alpha was released and it's done by GB881122. So I'm just going to call him GB. Okay. So GB created a nice Lineage OS 19 that is still in Alpha for this device. We as well have. A lineage OS 18.1 and that build as well seems to be good uh, it's by Aliesto but Aliesto did not update since let me see the last build is day 802 uh, last build was from 2021 so in fact this phone for two years it had no development going on this is a phone that i got from uh, jonathan and jonathan is one of my subscribers as well from the netherlands and i got this phone from him it was donated to me and i'm very happy with it because it's a nice phone to see has a nice screen has a good camera has buttons that are at the back um, I installed 19.1 onto it and as far as I can see it works really decent and nice so even though this is in alpha alpha is a big word it's as well you know saying that there could be certain bugs maybe battery is not so efficient as normally or when it's gonna be finished you know so all these things you must think about in alpha state but Alpha these days can still give you a nice working room, even though it's still in Alpha. So let me show it to you. Let me put you on the tripod. Welcome again to channel 48. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Puck and let's get started. <laughs> is completely back uh, there are certain things that i for instance did not show in the video yesterday uh, that you can as well do but in this video i'm going to show it um, and that is that you can turn on tap to sleep and you can turn on tap to wake that's a very nice a very nice uh, uh, functionality because pressing the this thing here you don't want to break this bottom eh? this is your home bottom it's kind of a little bit hidden here at the back and this is a volume up volume down so you have yeah no buttons the device has no buttons at all you see that it's as well a full screen gesture experience that we're having on this device so yeah in fact it's, it's such a big waste to to just throw this device away that's what i think all right so um let's reboot it 
and we do that from here so we don't have to press the button restart and we go back into recovery and we're gonna reboot it into a recovery mode this uh, brand was the brand of my ex but at the time we did not have smartphones yet but she always only loved LG. LG was her thing. So let's do advanced web Dalvik Kastje system data and uh, the rest. Here we're getting a little red line saying device, uh, what is it saying? Unable to decrypt. I don't know what, what that is. All right. Now to make a long video a bit shorter, I'm going to tell you that if you want to install gaps, you will have to install it right after you installed the ROM. All right, so the business is that we first install Linux OS 19. This is the correct install. And then we install gaps immediately after it. And there we are. It's back. All right, and then we go back and now we install Nick Gaps immediately after it. Copies. If you want Gaps, then that is what you must do. Aurora Store is disappointing me these last weeks. I don't know what is wrong with it. You know, honestly. But it's disappointing me bad time, big time I mean. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It always connects but you know it, 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 it cannot search. You cannot search. You know and the most and most lovely function from the Aurora store is the search. Okay, we can do a wipe cut shade Dalvik. And then we reboot the system to the system not updating to work. The files that you buy is very important. You can better buy a good second hand, yeah? If you cannot get the latest, then some, some, some phone that you can buy brand new, but it's a useless device. It's only good for, for the time that you buy it, or maybe when you buy it, it's already outdated. And there is no information about the device where you can get, uh, you know, a ROM to fix it. If something goes wrong with it we have many of these of these sites and then we have you know these 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 websites that claim to have the firmware and then you must pay eh? you must pay pay to download the ROM so in the future when 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 developers gonna ask a little two euro or five euro for a ROM that they make then you're gonna hear how, how, how this community is gonna start shouting. Yeah, blah, 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 du, 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 du. But hey, it's a whole lot of work, eh, what these guys are doing. You know? And I mean, like, if I ask you to donate, and you never donate, you don't even hear the word donate that I'm saying. You know? Then it's about time that, you know, developers will start asking a fee for the for the for their work that's a great idea but uh that's for the future for now we just installed lineage os peeps and uh, i'm gonna set it up really fast it feels uh, smooth enough and we installed it the right way now so that means uh, the play store should work now okay I did not show you the first part where it was not working. I cut that out of the video. But you must trust me on this one. Otherwise, you're going to have a double install and it's going to take way longer. 
before you can get going. All right, so uh, almost there in the desktop, and then we just gonna do some little test. And while we're in the desktop, I'm gonna connect uh, to Wi-Fi and to the Play Store really fast, and then I'm gonna get back to you. What am I telling you? What am I telling you? Look, 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 look. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. You see? That's why the gaps must be installed right after the installation. Capis? Comprende? Good. Tap to wake. I turn that on. You can set that on. Here you can change all sorts of look and feels. I'm just gonna keep to the old ones. Yeah. This is my uh, phone. Let's test out the camera. You can make a picture. You can make a video. And it actually as well plays. You can make a video. All right. Um, selfie. Zumba, Zumba. It works. Oops, delete. All right, so um, camera, etc. works. This one we can close. Boom, boom. Uh, about the phone. By typing this code, I get an IME. So that is very good means sim should work uh somewhere in the video i said alpha uh but yeah i see so many builds i'm not sure if this this build is still in alpha i think it's already out of alpha it's not the alpha build anymore because he fixed many things the first build was alpha but i think the thread must be updated a bit I, i'm not sure you know maybe it's still alpha I don't know. um No teams. Wallpapers. This one is kind of nice. Pure black. Lovely. Um, widgets. These are all normal widgets. I think if you're going to install the full package of gaps, you should as well get a pixel launcher and all the pixel goodies. But I'm not sure about that. Okay? <laughs> I always go for the for the light packages. Uh, this is Nick Caps Core 12. All right? Uh, so, yeah, I must say that I like the ROM. I like the way it works. I, I really think it's amazing that it got Android 12. Because I was a bit disappointed when I first only saw... Android 11, but then I looked on the official development and then, you know, there it was, my man, Android Deuce for the LG, yeah, as well a nice phone still, and it having the May security patches that makes this phone a boss in 2023 again.